Giants at the Falcons. As the Bay Area had their sports day, Yankees, Mets, Giants, Jets. What's a sports fan to do? Brad Maynard punts it. Winslow Oliver, the famous uh, poet, fumbles. Lyle West recovers for the Giants. <laughs> Giants falter again, setting up a field goal. Jared Holmes, good, 32 yards. But wait, unsportsmanlike conduct on Travis Hall. Leverage, Tom. That would be called leverage right there. When he put the left hand down and used it to propel himself up, that's a penalty. So the Giants take uh, the points off the board, and the gamble pays with Ron Dane doing his own kind of dirty bird. And the Giants lead it 7 0, thanks to Thunder. Chris Chandler to Brian Kozlowski. Play is going to pick up 30 yards. <clears throat> Five plays later, Chandler. Picked off by Jason Seahorn. And Seahorn, with a full head of steam and a full head of hair, returns it to the 30. John Fox bringing the blitz, Giants defensive coordinator. Well, that was Sean Williams right there hitting Chris Chandler. But anyone who has watched the Falcons over the course of the last couple of years knows that without benefit of the outstanding running game that they had two years ago with Jamal Anderson, this is the kind of punishment that Chris Chandler's been taking. Danny Canal in for the injured Chandler. is gone. He passed to Sean Jefferson. and complete. Dan Reeves wants a call. Here's the replay. Dave Thomas, one of the McKenzie brothers, locks up with Jefferson, gets called for interference. This time, Canal's all oh, through the hands of Terrence Mathis. The chances are, as a result of that miscue, here comes Michael Strahan to sack the former giant Canal. Canal tipped by Cornelius Griffin. Fourth and goal. Last chance, Atlanta down seven. Canal. And fitting, Canal throws and Seahorn's gonna knock it down. Dan Reeves, not happy. One time Giant coach watches his current team, the Falcons, lose to the Giants 13 to 6. So despite the fact that Kerry Collins has picked off twice, and Dean, it is at 31 yards rushing. The Giants win a low-scored pitcher's duel. And yet, Jim Fossil, you know, would like to see those rushing numbers for Ron Dane and T.E. Barber go up above 15, up above 20, so that you start to consume the time the way he wants to on the clock. The Giants two-game losing streak by the boards. The New York football Giants keep pace with leading Washington 4-2.